Hi, welcome to lesson number eight. So lesson eight is pretty, pretty average. Um, we do have some theory that I want to have you do first. So grab your pencil out and be ready for that. And um, no performance today. Um, so not too heavy of a load. So for theory today, we're starting on page 12 and page 12 and 13 are what we're doing. Um, go ahead and so what we're doing on page 12, um, you're going to sight read these lines of music, okay? It says notice your sevenths, okay? So just take note of that. And this is just a sight reading practice. So what it is is really you just play it on your own um, and play it once through, okay? That's what sight reading means is just playing it once through. If by chance it doesn't go very well, play it again just so that you can get it. Um, but that's all you have to do on that top part is just sight read. Um, this bottom part here, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that for just a second. I'm gonna have you keep your pencil out and go ahead and do this page 13. Okay, I want you to do this first and do your best. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna give you the answers, um, but I want you to try to fill out all the ones that you know first, and then we're gonna come back to here. Okay, so you'll have your pen pencil ready, and so do this first, and then come here, and we'll go through both of these. Okay, so. Pause your video, see you in a second. All right, coming back in, we're gonna go ahead and do this. What we're doing is I'm gonna play an example of either A or B. You're gonna listen and see if you can tell which one you hear. Okay, so looking at number one, what do you hear? So that was B, so circle B. Number two. Do that one more time. Okay, that would be B as well. Okay, number three. B. All right, so just a little ear training for you. Now coming over here, I'm going to give you the answers to these. So let's talk through them as we do it, okay? The fifth scale degree is called your dominant. Two beats to a measure, all breve is cut time, number 11. Two sections in A section followed by a B section, that is binary form. By means two, so you can remember that. By means two, okay? A musical pattern that repeats over and over is called an ostinato, number one. A sharp, flat, or natural that is not in the key signature is an accidental, which is number eight. A common left-hand chord bottom pattern, bottom top, middle top, is if you remember the Alberti bass that we've been learning. A seventh tone on the scale is your leading tone. Where's that one? Number four. Um, the first scale degree is your tonic. Tonic up to dominant. Okay. Um, the same as four four timing is common time. Three sections: an A section, a B section, and a return to the A section. That's called a ternary form. Um, number the next one: the distance between two notes on the keyboard or the staff is an interval, how far between, okay? And last one, one note smaller than an octave would be a seventh. So if I have an octave, I go one smaller, be, or an eighth, one smaller is a seventh, okay? So number nine. All right, so there's your, there's your answer key. All right, and last thing, it says create a keyboard example of each of these for your teacher. So what I want you to do is just play for me a seventh, okay? So pick a spot and play a seventh, okay? All right, then I want you to play for me on, starting on C with your middle, with your thumb, middle C, just play Alberti bass, okay? So hopefully you can just do this. Dun. 
Okay, that's all for any bass. Okay, and then ostinato is just a musical pattern that repeats over and over. Okay, whatever you want it to be, make up a pattern. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that is ostinato. All right, so there is our theory book for today. So um, hopefully you did well on that and you can remember all those terms. The next book that we're working with is our technique book. We're on page 15. Um, this is called Backup Singers. So it says the stress, stress the melody notes marked to nudo. Okay, so what you're going to do, this is like a, like you make this part loud. Okay, play the inner voice with the light thumb. So here's your, like your singer and your backup singer. Da, 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 da. Okay, like you have your front singer who's singing loud and then your back singer's in the background. So that's a tenuto. Um, tenuto. <laughs> it's kind of a funny word. Um, so you see a few of those. So play those loud and then have your little backup singer singing a little softer through this song. You have a few accidentals through here. Um, you have some lifts, da da, round offs, right? So a little softer at the end, and that should be about it. So if you look at the words here, this is your melody, blue. If you are blue, okay, I will be there, do la do. Okay, so that top line is your melody, and then you have your little backup voices. So I will give you an example of this. In the bottom, you've got some sevenths. So here we go. Play the first note loud, and then the other notes a little bit softer, okay? One, two, three. sing out my top line. Okay, so um, not too bad, but practice making that top note sing out, whereas the bottom notes are your backup singer. Okay, that's it for technique today, so that's not too bad. Then lesson, we have just a song called Lunar Eclipse. So this is working with kind of some broken chords, some minor chords. Here we have a C minor chord that's broken up. C, da, 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 da. And then your bottom hand is moving. B, B flat, and then it's coming over to hit these notes here. Here's a G, here's an F. Okay, so your bottom hand is moving a bunch. So it doesn't quite stay in the same place. So just watch as it as it moves from place to place. Here it changes just a little bit. Okay, then over here you have that same thing that we were working on in the other book. Here's your upper voice and your inner voice. Okay, this is your lead singer and your backup singers coming through here. So make sure that the top is louder and the bottom is a little softer. Okay. Um, and then you're just going to come up, doo -doo 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 -doo, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. And then up here we do a little, doo -doo 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 -doo. okay, and your left hand does the same thing. It's kind of interesting. So, oh, well, left hand to right hand, left hand to right hand again. They just didn't put the right hand back over here. So right hand again, left hand. All right, here is your example of this one. Lots of pedal in here. So watch your pedal and where it needs to lift up. Okay, one, two, three.
on the top. You go back to the beginning until you hit the coda. I should have showed you that. <laughs> we'll talk about it at the end. skip to the end where the coda is okay that's a pretty little song huh um so let me show you that really quick here's how the song works you come through you play until you hit DC all coda okay which means from the top to the coda, return to the beginning and play to the coda sign. So you return to the beginning, you're gonna play through till here, here's your coda, to coda, and then you're gonna come to the coda, okay? So play through to here, play through again to here, and then end up here. All right. So today we are doing Hannah number eight at the end of this lesson. And what I want you to do is just go ahead and do that on your own again. Um, do the best that you can. Make sure that you are just really following a beat as you're going. So da 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 something like that. Um, and that you're keeping it very even and clean. Um, and I hope you have a great week. Practice hard, do your best, and we'll see you next lesson.